Nothing useful can be secure. All useful systems have vulnerabilities and we can reduce the number of vulnerabilities, but we can never eliminate all of them. Security is always about making trade-offs and you've got usefulness, and you've got risk, and then you've got resources. We're always making these trade-offs. That is the art of security. The second idea I wanna share with you is to get pwned. It refers to inviting ethical security research onto your open source project, onto your SaaS product, onto whatever software you're creating. This is all part of the cycle of patching, hardening, and communicating and repeating your security updates. You're always gonna find issues, whether internally or externally, and you have this practice, you communicate it out. Idea three is about doing the right thing. We found in the Golang language in the XML library, a round trip vulnerability, and it was, it was a pretty material issue. Private companies, public companies were exposed. We spent our own time and resources to create a workaround package for this issue. And we were able to prepare folks to pick up the patch, to understand their exposure and their vulnerability. Security is about making trade-offs. And in this case, you know, we invested a lot of resources in securing a part of our supply chain that we didn't even depend on. So the usefulness of our product and our risk didn't change, but we spent resources to really give back to the community. And here's the secret of open source and security done right, in my opinion. The more you give away, the more you keep. Ultimately, security is about trust. And when you create trust from your community, from your supply chain, from your end users and your customers, that's the whole ballgame of security.